tallest mountain on Earth from base to peak is actually Mauna Kea. It is 10 kilometers tall and 4 kilometers above the sea level, because most of the mountain is actually underwater. But the highest mountain above the sea level on Earth is Mount Everest, but that is just above the sea level. If we use another criteria as the highest, such as how distant a point on the mountain is from the center of our planet, then that would go to Chimborazo, as it would be 2 kilometers higher than Mount Everest. And that is because Chimborazo is pretty much on the equator and Mount Everest is closer to poles. And on the equator, the planet is a bit wider than on the poles. And that's why Chimborazo is actually further away from the center. So yeah, it is kind of hard to define what is the highest, but it's not hard to define what is the tallest. And here we are taking a look at the tallest and most interesting mountains in the solar system. First, let's start with our moon. Tallest mountain there is Mons Huygens, and it is 5.5 kilometers tall. The mountain was created due to an impact, and generally, it is not too tall, as there are many mountains on Earth a lot taller. If you were to try to climb Mons Huygens with a spacesuit, it would be actually easy, as the much lower gravity on the moon would make you not exhausted, and you would move to the top of the mountain very fast. Now, the tallest mountain on Mercury is Calories Montes, and it is only 3 kilometers tall, meaning Mercury has the shortest mountains out of any terrestrial planet. Venus does not have too many tall mountains also, and is generally flat. The tallest mountain there is Scari Mons, and it is 6.4 kilometers tall, so it is not too tall. Now, Mars is an absolute winner in terms of mountains. It has many gigantic volcanoes. One of them is Olympus Mons, which alone is comparable to the size of France. And from base to peak, it is 21 kilometers tall, or 2.3 times taller than Mount Everest, making it the second tallest in the solar system, but the largest in terms of sheer size. If you were to try to climb the volcano, while you would be climbing it, you would not even have the feeling that you are on a mountain, since the slope you would be on would go over the horizon. But getting to the top of the mountain would also not be hard, as you would not get too exhausted. That is all if you had a spacesuit and food, as it would still take you likely many many days. There are also many other gigantic volcanoes over 10 kilometers tall on Mars. And now let's visit the tallest mountain from base to peak in the solar system, and that is Rhea Silvia, located on the largest asteroid in the solar system, for Vesta. This mountain is 22 kilometers tall, or 2.5 times the amount of Mount Everest. It's a central peak created by an impact crater. That crater is also huge, almost as long as the diameter of the whole asteroid. Climbing it would not really be that hard, as the gravity on 4 Vesta is 39 times lower than on the Earth. If you had a spacesuit, then you could climb the peak in like a day. Now let's get deeper into the solar system. Let's check out Io, a moon of Jupiter, that is also the most geologically active object in the solar system. Every few minutes, a volcano erupts on Io, so its surface is very young and is always replenishing. Because of the activity, it also contains 135 mountains, and the tallest on Io is Buzul Montes, which is 17.5 kilometers tall, which is two times the height of Mount Everest. But unlike other tall mountains in the solar system, which are usually volcanoes or are created due to impact craters, this one was made because of moving tectonics, pretty much like how mountains on Earth form. So this mountain is kinda special, and also this mountain is composed of sulfur, and you could also climb it easily, as Io is the size of our moon and has a similar gravity, but even your spacesuit could likely not protect you from the huge amount of radiation present there due to Jupiter. Io also has a few other over 10 km tall mountains. Now let's go further and visit Iapetus, a moon of Saturn, that has quite a few unexplained things going on and one of them is a huge equatorial ridge 
that is 1,300 kilometers long, almost as long as the diameter of the whole moon, and the ridge is 20 kilometers tall. It's enormous. No one really knows for sure how it formed. If you were to climb it, which would not be too challenging, from the top you could then easily see the curvature of Iapetus. And for the last object, let's visit Pluto. Its tallest mountain is Picard Mons. It is 5.6 kilometers tall and is made due to cryovolcanic activity. But Tenzing Montes, another little shorter mountain, formed due to tectonics, which was really surprising to find such a thing on such a small object. And these mountain ranges are very long and are composed mostly of water ice, while the surrounding flat area is composed of nitrogen ice. So those are pretty much the tallest, largest, and most distinct mountains in our solar system. It would be pretty nice if in distant future humans could get to actually climb them.